Good morning. Oh, there we go. It is currently 3.30. I have to leave my apartment at 4. Um, so I'm gonna start getting ready. I'm going to obviously put my contacts on. I'm so excited, I cannot believe it's happening. Like, oh. Oh, you know what? I didn't pack my, oh. Um, I'm sorry guys. I didn't pack my solution. So, I should probably pack it. No, I can't. Oh. probably just like buy one over there my hair looks a little crazy but I'm, I'm just gonna wear a hat um, I'm a new person I can see Start changing. Mm. <laughs> Gotta get Louis dressed. Louis, come here. Before. I bet you can't even find him. Where's your mask? All right, then. And then you're knocking people on YouTube like. A little outfit. waiting to board the plane. Um,
So we're in our Airbnb and we reunited. So we got back to the Airbnb and we did some grocery shopping for, you know, the stay. So she's about to go to pre-op. How are you feeling? Uh, excited. Are you nervous? nervous? Hell yeah. So this is the body before whatever. I mean, give us a little turn. I have no ass. One of my last days with no ass. Literally. <laughs> I haven't gotten called for pre-op yet. They're probably going to call me today to go tomorrow because surgery's in two days. <gasps> Crazy. I woke up and made some coffee and then I'm gonna go and do a little workout. Say good morning. Okay, so she got back from pre-op, what did they say? Um, they told me that my BMI was over by point, it was less than one point. Um, so I had to go back and I'm gonna try to lose like six pounds overnight, so cross fingers for me cross your fingers i need all the prayers all the good vibes yes i need to lose six pounds overnight it'll happen it'll I'm happen <laughs> so we had a lot of coffee to shit just because i want to meet i want to be i want to be okay for mine and you know i want to be i don't want them to be like come back tomorrow because tomorrow is would be the surgery, surgery. <laughs> so yeah. i want to be okay and we're gonna shit a lot yes and that's the plan we ate some pepinos and we're gonna eat salads and we're i worked out this morning already um and i'm gonna go like run at the beach or something maybe go to the gym with him later yeah we'll, and then go we're to the gym again tomorrow so that we could go straight from to pre-op after the gym once we've all sweated everything out yeah yeah um, so that's that's literally what she's doing but i think we're gonna be okay so. we're gonna get surgeries if not either way i'm still getting my surgery they said they can switch me to a different doctor i just really wanted hassan but i know that i am wanted around two anyway so if i have to get around two maybe next year do mejillo or something but jolie's customer service sucks, sucks. <laughs> needing to lose some weight we, we we will do this we came running at the beach hi guys so so we're in the wolf tonight i just got the email for my pre-op and it's at 11 a.m tomorrow I'm hi guys so it's my third workout of the day currently oh. Use the my trash shirt. bag method <laughs> to sweat. I have my fahan. Chloe Tang, shout out. Hey guys, so I just got back from the gym. It is currently 10, 12 in the morning. So um, I'm getting ready to go to pre-op. Pre-op is at 11. Um, you know, yesterday I was like really nervous and stuff, but I'm more so just excited already. And I don't want to get nervous because I don't want my blood pressure to go up and then they won't do the surgery. So, um, I started weighing 267 and I'm down to 245, which is 22 pounds less, um, within like a month. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm not really nervous right now, just ready to go to pre-op and ready for them to to just say that I'm good for tomorrow, honestly. I mean, I, I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. I'm trying to stay positive. You know, the way I am is I literally overthink everything all the time, so. But I think everything's gonna be okay. Um, I'm more so just excited because like once they do take like your, you know, cause at pre-op they're gonna do like your BMI, high weight, you know, fit you in for your garments and all that stuff, your faha. Schedule your massages, so like, I'm just ready for them to already take my BMI so that me and Daisy can go and smash on whatever we want. Like it's been, it's, it's been, you know, hard because I've been dieting so much and just working out every single day, multiple times a day. So I'm just ready to eat like pizza. Oh my God. Or like, I don't know. Maybe we're gonna go to this place, um, Bacon Bitch. I think it's in like South Beach. I'm so excited. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated.
Hi guys, so I just got back from pre-op and we both are cleared for surgery tomorrow. Hassan! Yes! She gets to see Hassan. Yes, they retook my stats and I'm 5'7". Five Not 5'5". Five five. Yes. And I was kind of scared that they were gonna take mine and I was gonna be like short or whatever, but I actually ended up being like 6'1". Six, six so my BMI was like, it has to be at a 35, the max, and it was at a 32 point something. So that's crazy. So we have surgery. We're waiting for the email um, around five or six. And then that's gonna tell us what time our surgery is tomorrow. That's so crazy. Get ready, bitches. It's my last day in this old body. You ain't fucked me, you fucked the old body. <laughs> Okay, so we officially have our surgery times. Mine is, I have to be there at 8 in the morning, so I can't drink or eat anything past 12. And then... I'm at 6 a.m. So... And I can't eat or drink anything past... It's getting so real. So... I can't... I can't believe it! I don't know if I'm, like, excited or nervous. Oh, or both. That that Tomorrow around surgery. this time, we're and literally gonna be you can't see the so high off drugs. I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, yeah, but we're gonna be in probably some good little pain. This is the last time we'll be sitting on our butts for a month. Yes. All right, we're just getting our outfits ready for the morning. It's happening, you guys. It's happening. It's 5, 16 in the morning, and she is about to leave for hers. Sis, how are you feeling? Um, excited and nervous. Probably more nervous when I get over there. Yes. So she goes in at 6. She goes before me. Mm -hmm. So that's a little nerve-wracking. But... But I haven't taken the Valium that they prescribed me, so hopefully that'll calm me down. So she got prescribed that i didn't anything so i'm just gonna probably be really scared when i get there um but hey we will see you on the flip side so daisy went to um get surgery i am just preparing the bed so we bought this like vinyl thing to put on top of like the um the sheets and then i'm gonna put doggy pads on top and then i'm gonna put um a blanket just so it could be comfortable and then, yeah, I have to start, you know, uh, showering with this um, antibacterial soap and just starting to get ready to help. This is how I set it up. I put the doggy pads and then I put the vinyl thing on the bottom and then just like two covers to cover ourselves because I know we're going to be really cold. And then we did get just some cheap pillows from Walmart just because I didn't want to like use the Airbnb ones and mess them up. So yeah, that's, that's it guys. So I had to take a drug test, but I couldn't pee. Um, so they came to to put an IV in to see if I can pee and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting until that happens, I guess. So finally, after like an hour, I was able to pee. Hi guys, we did it. We did it. Daisy, where are you? We did it. <laughs> The pillow, yes, we fucking did it. We did it. The hard part, well, I, I call it the scary part. I call this the hard part. Um, yeah, it went pretty well. Um, I'm not really in much pain yet. You almost passed out. I almost That's passed out. Like. <laughs> um, and my, like, my uvula is, like, super big. I don't know why. How are you feeling right now? better i just feel like the pain in my stomach um and <clears throat> i was really feeling it when my mom went to go pick me up from the surgery center because i i wasn't on any pain meds yet and i was really feeling it and i cried a little bit but then when she went to go get my prescriptions that's when i like i was bawling like for 30 minutes no it was horrible like that pain is horrible uh yeah i'm i don't i don't I haven't felt any pain yet, and I hope I don't. Um, obviously, it's sore and it hurts a little bit, but not like. Honestly, it kind of to me, what I feel right now, it kind of feels like, like when you get a tattoo, really? and you like lay on it, 
that's what I feel right now. Really? Yeah, like. Some people said like that they felt like they just had like a really rough workout, and I'm like, bitch, workout yeah. and where? Yeah. I feel like I worked out. <laughs> I feel uh, like I got ran over. Or something. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're draining. We're draining a lot of disgusting fluids. But we'll check in later and show you or whatever. Hi guys, so it's been like three hours post-op. Apparently just like walking around a little. Um, I don't feel that bad. Like I just feel sore as hell. But like... Okay guys, warning. Um, I, if you have like a weak stomach or if you don't want to see blood or anything, skip to the number that I'm going to write down in the bottom. Um, again, this is just a warning because I am going to be showing some drainage and whatnot. But like, nothing too major. How are you feeling? I feel just like sore. You guys, look at, look, show them a little bit. Look at how snatched that waist is. Yes. Snatched. I guess I should give a... You want to show a little bit of your results? Or... No, not no, yet. Yeah. Viewer discret... No. Oh, yeah. Some ton shit ton of blood. Yeah, there's a lot of blood. <laughs> and <laughs> weird liquids. <laughs> but yeah, pain-wise, pain, actual pain, I probably feel like 4 out of 10. A what? 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10 now? I'm probably still like uh, 5. 5? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's more so like just in my blood, but like, no, I guess the lipo or the stomach part hurts because you're laying on your stomach. Hopefully we feel better tomorrow so we can like, starting get to out. bruise up. I don't think I'm bruising up yet. No? Um. <sighs> it's three in the morning and I'm in so much pain. It hurts like a bitch. What about you? I just feel like really sore around here. It hurts a little bit to get up. Uh, Again. Still can't walk, but... It hurts so bad to like get up. Like my pubic area. Whew. Hi guys, it is seven in the morning. And it was the worst night ever. It hurts like a bitch. Uh, my private parts are swollen like 20 times. Snatch she looks. What? We should have taken a, a picture when Before? I first went to the beach. Dude. Because I had nothing and I look kind of boxy and then. She's flat. Yeah. She got curved. Hi guys, it's like almost nine in the morning. I feel so much pain. I'm not ready for this massage. I think I'm gonna seriously cry. I usually have a high pain tolerance, but this is just something else. My throat hurts like it's really sore. And then like my neck is super like sore when I touch it. Uh, my whole stomach, my back hurts because of sleeping on my stomach. My butt. Uh, Just mm -hmm. 10 out of 10. Better go to my post op. Wish me luck, guys. This shit is no joke.
guys, it's like 4 in the morning, I'm like, going to stop, day 2. Hi guys, haven't checked in in a while. So it's 4.30 in the morning. I am five days post-op. Feeling a lot better. Sleeping is just pooping. It's just annoying, but can't even see it. This comes out tomorrow, today. Um, me and Daisy are gonna go get massage and my train comes out. And then we leave tomorrow. Hi guys, so it's six days post-op today. Um, we checked into a hotel, we leave tonight, but we had to check out of the Airbnb at like 10 in the morning and our flight's not until nine. So we just tucked into a hotel. Um, oh, I look a fucking hot mess. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> we are... I'm feeling... I'm, I'm starting to feel like back to normal a little bit. Just like I can't sit. I would sit. too if I, if I was shitting. But I, had not, I have not shitted for like four days. And I took laxatives. I took milk of magnesia yesterday but that shit did not help so then he got what did you get mm, miralax i think and that that's been helping a lot more than the milk of magnesia it's just i've been having to like use the restroom every few minutes because it doesn't come out all at once it's just like a little splatter here, a little splatter <laughs> here. <laughs> ah! and not just that but sadly sis over here started her pee yeah. her period so it's kind of like double um that plus like healing and all of that yeah um it's been okay i got so many to pass security finally headed to our plane i'm so sweaty <laughs> <laughs> 